Nine-year-old Jamar sat on the veranda, staring out at the hills of St. Anne. The sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the palm trees, but Jamar couldn't enjoy it. His heart was heavy. Tomorrow, he would be leaving Jamaica to join his mother in England, a place he had never been. His grandmother, Miss Inez, came and sat beside him. She'd raised him since his mother left for foreign five years ago. The house was old but full of memories, the smell of ackee and salt fish, reggae music, and the cool morning breeze. Me know you're worried, me grandson, Miss Inez said, patting his shoulder gently. But your mother they wait for you. England different, but you we fine yourself. Jamar nodded, though the knot in his stomach didn't go away. Me we miss your grandma, he whispered. Miss Inez smiled sadly, her eyes watering. And me we miss you too, Jamar, but you must go to your mada. The next morning came too soon. Jamar's suitcase was packed with new clothes and a few things Grandma insisted he take. This fi remind you where you come from, she said, tucking a small bag of Jamaican soil into his pocket. At the airport, Jamar clung to Miss Inez, his chest tight with fear. The loudspeaker announced his flight, and the time had come to say goodbye. Go on, me grandson, she said, her voice breaking. Make me proud. Jamar forced a smile, hugged her one last time, and walked towards the gate. The plane ride was long and uncomfortable. Jamar tried to sleep, but his swirling thoughts kept him awake. When the plane finally landed, he felt a knot of nerves twist inside him again. This was it. England. His mother was waiting for him at Heathrow Airport, her face lighting up when she saw him. Credits. Narration by narrator's name. Script by scriptwriter's name. Produced by producer's name.